Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I am making pet shelter cards today with the new best friend stamp set from MFT. And I'm calling them pet shelter cards, they could be used for other things, but so happy you found a new best friend and congratulations on your new furball, along with this little girl holding puppies and kitties. These would be perfect for fundraisers for your local pet shelter. And I thought for some of the people who are always looking for different ideas to give cards to someone else, to be able to make something for a cause, this would be a great cause. I know you guys love puppies and kitties, and so do I, so this would be a great way to support your local shelter by giving them cards that they can sell at their shelter or that they can use. Maybe they, they would send a card home with somebody who's adopted a pet or something with a, a thank you for a, for helping the shelter or maybe they could use these for thank you cards for their big donors and anything that you can do to make their lives easier and to make other people be more generous in order to keep your shelter going is a good thing to save all those puppies and kitties so i am coloring this one with colored pencils and i'm going to color both images i'm just going to show you the coloring of one the other will be the basic same technique and same colors. But I'm using a series of colors for the skin tone to layer them together. I started with a pinkish color, ended up adding a yellowish color to it to change the tone, and then some purple for the shadows. Purple for shadows scares some people, so feel free to use a brown if the purple freaks you out because you don't wanna freak out, it's coloring. But I think that the purple gives it a little more of a cartoony, colorful look rather than just a brown. When I use my color pencils, I tend to use a very light touch so that I can use multiple layers of color. That allows me to do the changing of the color. So if I want to make something, the, the whole tone of it change a little bit, I can layer a different color right over top of it. Right there I realized I missed coloring the ear, so I will get back to that, have no fear. But here I can add my shadows on top of that because I have not built up a waxy surface yet with that color that was underneath. So I can add the darker brown on top. Now those who have been around me for a long time may think that this stamp set looks familiar because it looked familiar to me, but not that I'm accusing anybody of anything, but I had my old uh, Sierra and Sandy stamp set that I designed a long time ago and did not do very well with my little line of stamp sets. A lot of you wonder why I don't design stamp sets, because I had one that bombed pretty badly. But you can pick up the Digi that is on my blog if you want to purchase my version. But theirs is much cuter than mine, <laughs> because this is a person who actually designed stamp sets for a living. And that is a good thing. That's why I love buying other people's stamps. But it reminds me very much of mine, because I had a picture of me holding my Sierra dog, my old golden retriever. I did that many years ago and had it available as a stamp set. And now it's a digi on my site, but I recommend this stamp set because it's much more adorable than my digi was. But this is still really fun, really cute. You can color the puppy in all different kinds of ways, especially if you do it for your shelter, make them all different kinds of puppies because people might want it to look like their puppy. So color a whole bunch of the little kids and you know change the puppies out that are in them and be able to have different kinds of puppies. I don't know if having a puppy looking at them like this one, so I have two dogs here since I have two dogs, um, would be good or whether the shelter would per prefer to have a card with only one puppy on it. I don't know if people adopt two puppies at once I did. My puppies both arrived from different sources within a day of each other. So my life changed in an instant. And so will the lives of all these people who are adopting dogs and kitties at your local shelter. I do recommend shelter pets because they need homes pretty desperately. And unless you really need a particular breed, like I needed a golden retriever because I needed a second Sierra. And I had to go to a breeder to get my little giallo, but I did get Vienna from a shelter. She came from Texas. She flew all the way out to Washington to be with me, which was fun to have a pet who came from far away and has made her home here in the land of 
water and evergreen trees and cooler weather. She's in a very different place than where she grew up in Texas. Well, she didn't grow up in Texas. She was there for six months, but you know what I mean. I'm babbling now. Can you tell I'm rambling today? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, let's see, back to my coloring. I'm just adding more layers of color, like her skin was not feeling rich enough in color, so I added a little bit more color to it to darken it up a little tinge. And I'll add a little bit more to the puppy dog. So you can see as I build up color on one thing, I may want to add more color to another. So when I got those blue pants on her, I suddenly realized some of the other colors were starting to look weak by comparison. So that is one thing that a light touch allows you to do is adjust your colors as you go. For the little Vienna pup, my shelter dog, she has black spots on her eyes, big black spots over both eyes and black ears, and then a little black spot right at the base of her tail, which is really cute. And though I'm making mine look like my dogs, you could find all different kinds of dogs by just Googling and doing a Google image search for puppies. And you'll get all kinds of ideas for different colors for different dogs. If you're making this for a shelter, don't make them all look like the same dog because people will want to buy a card that looks like their dog or the dog that belongs to the person who just um, ended up adopting one. So I did really simple finishing off of the card by die cutting out the edges with a rectangle die from MFT also that has some stitching on it and then popped it up on a white card base. Left it really nice and clean and simple. And then here is the one with the kitties. So these two look like my kitties as well. I have a black kitty and a kitty with spots. So I use the same colors that I used on the other card to create the kitty card. And you could do a combination of these and gift them to your local shelter that they could sell them or use them or do whatever they want with them. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you do something kind for animals today. Go hug your pets, go adopt a shelter animal and watch more videos if you'd like. I will see you guys later. Have a really awesome, beautiful day. Bye-bye.